this is how it all began. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Come on. See, it's uh, uh, right over here. So we already took the vitals. They are, they are gone. I We're taking I... pictures. Yep. Now we're just going to figure out the cause of death. Now, we obviously know it's something to do with the bunk beds here. And These are obviously not the first one they came off. There's a dent. There's a dent right here. Maybe they, they, they wouldn't have been able to happen. They wouldn't have been able to fall from that from there and end up here. So they probably something else happened. They were probably trying to climb down. And then they fell. No. This is this is not loose. Some of these are. This might have been the one. They were trying to like. They were trying. No. Oh, like yeah, I, I know. No, 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 because they couldn't, they couldn't have ended it like that. They couldn't have ended up there if they did that. So I feel like they probably were trying to like jump to that one or jump to this one and hit their head on the ceiling. And that would be why that light is all like, like, kind of off edge there. They yeah, he hit his it. head there. Yeah. Meaning he probably hit his head. Then they smacked and they fell down, skidded. Smacked his head into this. His glasses came off, and his boot got caught on that when he went forward and ripped his foot a little bit. Let's take a boot. No, yeah. let's not take any evidence. We've already taken the evidence. There is, there's no possible way this was a murder. Oh, unless like. Was it something scared him? Maybe other? somebody pushed him? Is other No, because there's, there's no there's no fingerprints on the body. We already checked. Right. And unless no I let's go back to the office and try to figure this out. Let's piece this thing together. This has this other stuff off. How is the case new case going? It is going actually really good sure. I think I found the problem and the solution for what has happened. I feel like this relates to something I read in a study about the natives who lived here once long, long ago. They found this creature in the middle of the woods. They they hid it the moment they saw it. Anybody who screamed or was scared of it and like expressed themselves by talking died. So they caged it. And I checked the cameras this morning, and it was a man. Outside the window, just because I thought it would be watched, but I couldn't say anything. And then he would have run away. And he had an animal in his arms. I feel like this was the same threat. They, the natives caged it up and hit it really well in the forest. And we had reports yesterday of something going into the forest and there being like extremely loud screaming coming out of the forest. And then he came out with a cage. I feel like this could be our clue. We need to find this man. For, we need to track him down and get the rat just just gone. Just cage it back up and bury it in cement. Right. Thank you. Alright, let's go track this thing down. Alright, let's go find this scumbag. Let's do it! Let's find him. Yep. I'm thinking he might be somewhere around the building. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Get him! Get him! Get him! You got like 20 people! Okay, guys. Look at that, 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 guys. Welcome to Sunday Scout News. Good morning, Scouts, and here's your friendly reminder 
to sell your $1,500 of popcorn t- to get your Red Wings tickets. And off to Eris with sports. Thank you, Lindsay. Sheriff Chief has just won the first Gaga Ball game of the season. Good job, Sheriff. She has off to Bob with the wet. Thank you for passing it on to me. Now with the weather. As we can see, it's cloudy out. It was raining earlier, but it doesn't seem to be now. But just in case, make sure your tents are waterproof and be careful on those roads. But hey, don't listen to me. Let's see what the weather rock has to say. Never mind, let's go back to the others. That was concerning, but anyways, we have some breaking news. There's a suspected killer on the loose, and off to Sheriff Seavers with more information. Hello, Camp Agua. This is uh, Sheriff Seavers, and there's a, a murderer on the loose, and this is what they most likely are going to be wearing. And also, stay uh, cautious in wide open fields because that is where they like to strike. Stay safe out there. Tag, you're it. Hey, not Phil, I wasn't even ready. And why are you even paying in the lane any It was your idea. All right. What was that? It is Okay, it's in my office. Yeah, we don't want to go back to prison right now. Sit down! Alright. Fire up! Let's go. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna escape.
Hey. Hi. How are you? Good, but I'm a little bit tied up. Could you possibly untie me? Mm, sure. Thanks. By the way, I did the mission. Um, I killed the girl, and um, like they only suspect me, not the smilers. So good job. <laughs> Binge at my place? For sure. Good evening, and this is Sunday Scout News. And can somebody hand me the spicy ruffles? Because tonight's topic is hot. And off to Eris for tonight's top story. Thank you, Lindsay. So, as you may know, Sheriff Chiefus was recently arrested for murder of her, Jeremiah Smith and was found out to be part of a group called the Smilers. And in even more recent news, she escaped with help of what appears to be their leader. Back to Lindsay. Thank you, Eris. And thank you for tuning in tonight. Good evening and tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's Scout News. To be continued! That dinner was amazing. I know, amazing. right? Yeah. I mean, it was the most delicious dinner I ever had. So true. I don't even know where we got it from. Do you guys remember? No. No, it might have been Kroger. No, know. it can't be from Kroger. Where else could it be from? It's Maybe. like the only store in 50 miles. Hmm. Well, I'll do it. Could you pass me some more? Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, guys, we got a problem. What? We're out of food. I don't know what to oh, do. No. All right. Uh, let's calm down. Freaking out isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's go along the trail and see if we can find anything. Uh, all, all right. right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm starving. I, I, I can't believe that we ran out of food already. Well, mm -hmm. I hope we find something really soon. Me too. Oh, Me hey. too. It looks like there's a chair oh. ahead. Hello. Let's go talk to him. Go. Hey there. Who are you? Hi, we're scouts. Do you got any food? Food? I haven't seen food around these parts. Just delicious Tim Hortons coffee. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. Wait. What? There's something you all might want to know. There that? might be a can of corn. Corn? corn. If corn. you can defeat the ghost. Oh. oh, I heard about that guy. I heard he's like super dangerous or something. You'll be lucky. To defeat the ghost. <laughs> I 
Man, that guy was crazy. Do you think what he was saying about the ghost was real? I don't know. He was talking a lot about Tim Hortons. And, again, the only store around here in 50 miles is Kroger. So I don't know if he's crazy or not. Well, I guess I guess one won't know. Maybe. Got hey, there! Hey, I'm sorry we couldn't get the corn from the corn ghost. I'm just really scared of ominous noises. Hey, what is that thing? Rock. It's my pet rock, Ed Marlene. Rock. What are you? This is my pet rock, Ed Marlene. That is not a rock! Yes, it is. Uh, okay, I need a second. Um, have you seen any corn around here? Okay. Yeah, I, we were trying to get corn, but I'm just really scared of ominous noises, and I ran away as fast as I could out of the forest, and now I don't know where the corn is. Wait, hold on. Have you, what kind of noises did you hear? Were they like ghost noises? Or rock noises? Ghost noises. Are, Are you sure? Rock? He does not make a lot of noises. Are you sure? Rock. That's the um, only thing he says. Now, I'm gonna go back to talking to my pet rock, Ed Marley. Please and thank you. Okay, thank sure. you. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. But the answer is no! Not worth it. I won! Finally get the cord! Uh. Yes! Actually, I'm not that hungry anymore. So, I've heard this story about Ellen Springs. Apparently, last year, she went missing on a picnic without a buddy. Without a buddy? I you know! Should, you should always bring a buddy on campouts. Yeah. And apparently, and legend says, if you ever go in there, you never get out. Wow. That's Oh, do you remember that ghost story from last night? It was really scary. It kept me up all night. Yeah, it was very, very scary. Oh, be quiet and enjoy the nature. Oh, look, a tree. Oh, look, another tree. Oh, look, another, another tree. Will you quit it with the trees? Hey look, what's that? That looks like a sad picnic. Yeah, it looks really sad. Do you think it's from that ghost story? Maybe, but it's not my plan, honestly. It looks very dirty. Okay, I think we should keep going and looking more close. If you say so. Oh, guys, I'm walking forever. But I know there's evidence here somewhere. There isn't. We've been walking for like 10 minutes. No, but I know it's 
somewhere. Fine. You guys go back to a campsite. I don't care. I'll you go can't alone. go without a buddy. I'll be fine. Fine, whatever you want. <sighs> They are so rude. Who are you? Ellen. Ellen who? Ellen friends. Well, that's not true. But you didn't bring the body. Oh. So you're gonna have to pay the price. Oh. Of being crazy. <laughs> Rocky went off without a buddy. I know, you shouldn't do that. It's not safe. Mm -hmm. Let's never do that ever again. I agree. That Rock noises. Awful. What do you Rock mean noises. haven't? Rock noises. Yeah, Rocky's acting really weird. Rock noises. Yeah. Yeah. She's acting very rockety rock. <laughs> Rock noises. Bring in the accused. You have been sentenced to life imprisonment for feeding the cows the wrong way. You may plead your case. I'm innocent. I'm not a farmer. I've never fed a cow. I'm innocent. How could I be guilty of something I've never done? Because I said so. Guards, take him away. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Hey, it looks like you got yourself a little room. I'm innocent. Help me out. Help me out. What do you get brought in here for? To be honest, I don't even know. Well, that's off. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You I got in here for believing that somebody was that that person wasn't the real king. Huh, really? Yeah. Honestly, don't know who is, but he looked a, a bit like you, actually. Really? Yeah. Did anybody get out of here? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I mean, we could make a key, but it's. Or we would have to improvise. So this rock would probably be good for like a, I guess a collection. I think it's called, but whatever. Um,
36 now. I'm Joe Taylor, heir to the throne. I have to get in there and do something about that king. You're not the rightful king. How did you get out of jail? With a little bit of help from a friend, but you're not the rightful king of this land. Lies. I'm Joe Taylor, son of King Taylor the Sixth, previous ruler of this land, who died and made you king. I am the Lord Elder from Asgardia. I will burn this land to ashes. There will be nothing left. You heard him. He's gonna try to destroy the kingdom. You have to help me. Uh, who do I rest? Arrest I him. am your king. He's trying to destroy the kingdom. I will burn you down first. But first, after something important. Door. Get me out of here. You're charged for a crime you didn't commit. Let's get out of here. I bowed to the truth. You sure those doors were holding? Most likely, because that's our best security. Hopefully. Hopefully. Awesome, we got Sam Suzanne. And we got John Johnson here with the sick pumpkin mask and the spirit of Halloween in a couple days. Um Sam Suzanne, you wanna you wanna take us? Yeah, so I'm Sam Suzanne. This is Skills with Sam. We're gonna make a square knot. This is perfect when you wanna connect two types of rope of equal diameter. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the right, but over the left, do a little twisty. And do the opposite thing. No. Left over right. No. And then that's the square knot for you. And then it should hold nice and firm. I have no like weird slippage of any kind. And then when you press together, you're gonna have two loops that are going through each other. Awesome. Okay, so I think we're just gonna get a close-up shot, and then I think that's good for the square knot information. Okay, perfect. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna get close. Just do it. Ready, go. You can do it. Hmm. Hey, geez, get away. Okay. Welcome back to Skills of Sam. I'm <laughs> Sam Suzanne. And I'm John. Yep. That was a really, really weird kids over there, but we're on the move, so let's yeah. continue. So, edge method. It's four parts. Explain, demonstrate, guide, enable. Explain. You are showing them what they are doing. Demonstrate. You show them what is happening. You can That can be a presentation or some kind of live... Uh, showing of what you're doing. Uh, guiding Wait one them. minute. <sighs> Guys, come on, go away. We're, We're trying to film problem. the educational video. Please. Interesting. Okay. You are weird. Anyways, um, guide them. That's when you put it in their hands. They're actually physically doing it. And um, you help them out as they're doing it. And then enabling them is they're doing it by themselves. But you're still there in the background, helping them out if they're stuck on any issue, whatever it may be. Why are okay, you, let's just get here? out of here. Yeah. Okay, we'll finish the video somewhere else. 
Well, now that those guys are gone, uh, continue? Yeah, so now we're gonna explain what you would do. Fuchs had some kind of gushing uh, injury, so let's say Logan got a cut right here, and there's no way I can pack this. Um, there's no way I can put a bandage of any kind on it. So the only option I really have is a tourniquet. What I'm gonna do is take a length of rope, go ahead and put a bite in it. And then put it around. Then I'm gonna put this piece of rope through. And then I'm just gonna cinch it down as tight as I can. And then go ahead and wrap it around. Get it as tight as I can. And then tie it off right here. Dude, it's not like I got a zombie bite. Chill out. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, there. And it's in a pinch. That'll work. No problemo. Awesome. Um. Well, let's get this off of you so you don't lose your leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. Come on. Let's go. Let's just. Okay. Are these two weirdos with us again? Darn it. Come on. Let's go. So, me and John went up to the loft, tried to get away from those weirdos. I don't know what was going on with them. I think they were just some weird teenagers. I'm not exactly sure what it was. But, uh... Dude, I think they're walking under. Look wait, at wait, really? Look at them, look at them. wait, 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 wait. What is this? Look, look, look. Dude, what is on their face? I don't know. Is this some, like, weird Halloween soft? Oh, that's weird. Huh. Why do they not like respond like that? Oh, yeah. Holy! Whoa, okay. Things just got real, man. Yeah, they're definitely not okay. Ugh. Okay, let's get out of here, man. Come on, go fast, dude. Get out of here. Dude, you say open the door. Okay, come on, get him. Close, close. Okay. What are we supposed to do, man? I don't know, dude. They just like took that guy, and now he's like just like. Hey. Oh no! Oh no! We're up. I'm sorry. I don't know what. Holy! Ah! 